Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, you went up to uh, Boston this past weekend, uh, season opener, and were able to get a pretty impressive 34-0 win. Uh, good team win overall. Yeah, it, it's hard to look at first games and not be a little bit jaded from the mistakes that you make, right. the things you leave on the table, uh, some penalty issues that we yeah. had. A lot of first game stuff. Yeah. Um, gives us a lot to work with as far as coaching this week. Uh, and I think the guys learn, you know, we've got to be able to go on the road. We've, we've got to be able to perform when we've got to spend a significant amount of time on the bus. Uh, you know, hats off to Curry. They did, a, they did a good job. I mean, yeah. it was, you know, we had to work for it, but I think, it, you know, in the end, the guys were able to come together and, and, and get the win. Yeah. Now, obviously, first, talk a little bit about the defensive effort. You know, they got in the red zone, you know, two or three times once in the first half. I think Isaiah had an interception and then uh, – Couple times late when they got down to the tight you guys came up with a couple of goal line stands. Yeah, I think probably from a coaching staff perspective, obviously we were able to execute a really, really good game plan that Coach Nelson and his guys put together. Uh, but I think the most exciting thing for me were the goal line stands late in the game by the young guys. Right. And we had a, you know a, a significant number of freshmen on the field at that point, um, and they were playing hard and executing you know what, what we've taught them over the first couple of weeks and. You know, that's a really, really exciting thing to watch. I think the other thing that was exciting to watch was how engaged in all of that the older guys were. Yeah. You know, they were really into it, really wanted to see the young guys have a shot to preserve the shutout. Unfortunately, they were able to do that, and that was really cool to see. Yeah, because obviously maybe the natural tendency is maybe, hey, we've got this game in the bag and let down a little bit, but they were able to keep the intensity up because they wanted to go out and earn that shutout. Absolutely. And then, um, you know, offensively, you know, I think saw, you know, you moved the ball in spurts, um, had some good um, – had a couple good drives. You also took advantage of some mistakes that Curry made as well. We did. You know, the offense is a work in progress. I think looking at, you know, a little bit different scheme, um, a little bit different philosophy with Coach Hoyt coming in over yeah. the summertime. Um, you know, I think we're still still working out the kinks, still yeah. still kind of finding our groove. But I think you look at us as a whole. I think we can run the ball. I think we're good enough at quarterback at this point. Yeah. Um, so as we look into this Saturday night, I think it's you know, we're looking for some significant growth. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, trying to integrate some, you know, the skill positions, like you said, some different people in and trying to, along with the new offensive coordinator. So there's a lot of moving parts there, but, you know, like you said, it's a work in progress and it'll continue to only improve. Absolutely. All right. Like you said, shifting gears to the Saturday, um, first home game. Um, it's always exciting. You know, any home game at Mustang seems exciting, but it always seems to be a little bit more exciting, a little bit more intense under the lights Saturday night against Bridgewater. Yeah, we're excited. Um, you know, I can't wait to see the students come out and, and support us. I know I've gotten a number of texts, you know, already, good luck. You know, we're going to be there from, from various student groups. And that's exciting. When, when you can get the campus involved and, um, you know, play on a Saturday night under the lights at our place, it's, it's, it's going to be a loud, um, you know, very supportive environment for us. And that's exciting. Yeah. I would see your second non-conference game, second and final of the season. Um, you know, against Bridgewater team coming off a win themselves. So just kind of talk about a little bit about that game. Um, you know, a good football team. Yeah. You know, well coached. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a one score game until late in the fourth quarter last year. Yeah. Um, so we would expect the same this year. Um, you know, their quarterbacks back. I think four of their five offensive line starters are back. So as we look at them on paper, they're an experienced group, uh, a quarter, a, a group that has strong leadership from a senior quarterback and a guy that can run around, make you miss, you can throw the ball down the field. So, you know, and defensively, they're stout. I mean, they, they, they do a good job on the defensive side of the ball. I believe they have a preseason All-American at inside linebacker. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to have to we're gonna have to buckle down and, and get the work done Saturday yeah. night. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck Saturday night, and uh, we'll chat next Wednesday. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.